Hey, welcome back to the show. Hey, everybody! This month we're answering a bunch of questions you submitted, so, uh, we're just gonna get the Patreon stuff out of the way first. So our new patrons this month are Madeline Wrestler, donating a dollar a month. Thanks, Maddie! And, uh, wait, that, that, that's the only new one? I mean, that brings the total to ten patrons after only three episodes. <laughs> I don't think that's something to complain about. Shut up! We're never gonna break 180 million a month at this rate. Oh, that was never even- Shut up! We're, uh, we're just gonna jump into the questions then, I guess. Uh, Digital Raft 26 asks, where do hamsters exist outside of the pet store? Ugh, that, that's so dumb. Ooh, there's actually a crazy story there. Ugh. So they were like, uh, the, the Syrian version of rats, you know? Sure. But then they got hunted to extinction. What? Because they messed with a bunch of farmers' stuff or whatever, mm. and, and because fur traders realized they could sell hamster fur. Ugh, weird. But then somebody found, like, the one last little hamster mommy and her babies. <clears throat> and they were like, ah, uh, they didn't even know what it was or whatever. Ugh. So they took it to a university, and they figured out what it was, and they started breeding them. Ugh. So that's where all hamsters come from. They're all descendants from that one little hamster fan. Shut up, that, that doesn't even answer the question. Outside of pet stores, hamsters exist in dumb little aquarium things in kids' rooms with tubes and wheels and crap. Next question. LaRue I asks, why are you so grumpy? Ugh, uh, because of dumb questions like this. How's that for an answer, LaRue I? <laughs> oh, I think you're so grumpy because, like, uh, when you hear ideas that don't fit into your current worldview, it kind of feels like, uh, like an attack on your identity, you know? Ugh, what? Like, uh, nobody wants to rewire the whole way they look at life or the world just because of some new information, you know? Shut up! So you just kind of lash out when you're feeling uncomfortable at the ideas that are coming up. That's- uh, uh, shut up, you're, you're not a psychologist, you're a band leader. The world's just filled with morons and I don't like listening to dumb crap that wastes my time. Next question. Oh, this one comes from a patron. Ooh, nice! LPR Records asks, when will we get a musical guest? Ooh. Ugh. I hope it's soon, that would be so fun! Of course. Because when people tune into a comedy show, what they really want to listen to is some band they don't know. But it's like a cool way to discover new music, though. And it brings, like, a cool new energy to shows. Uh, whatever. The answer is we don't do the booking. Who knows? All right, let's see if there's one more question here. Nightdreamer150 asks, I want to flipping die. Ugh, what? That, that, this, that, that shouldn't be... That's not even a question! Well, the good news is you are gonna die! Whoa! And then you're gonna be a dead person! Ugh, stop this! I, uh, what the... So until then, you just gotta, like, uh, experience life, <sighs> do your best to kinda enjoy it if you can, mm. and, uh, maybe try to make the experience better for the people who are gonna exist after you! Well, that's... Uh, and remember, the, the Etch-a-Sketch is gonna get shook at some point or another, <sighs> so if the picture you're drawing isn't quite as good as you want it to be, then, like, uh, whatever, right? Shut up! That's not... Uh, ugh! I'm I'm wrapping this up before you get any weirder. So, uh, remember to become a patron, uh, maybe you buy a pop socket on TyroLandis.com, and I guess we'll see you again next month with a new guest. See everybody!